From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. Hillsborough County students will now go back to school on Monday, August 24th. The school board voting to change the original date due to rising cases of COVID-19. Parents had until last weekend to decide if their children would go back to the classroom or do online learning. Florida set a new record for the most coronavirus-related deaths reported in a single day. It's the third record we've broken this month. In the last 24 hours, the state report 173 more Florida residents died from COVID-19 and more than 10,000 new cases were documented. The percentage of new positive cases rose once again in the last day to more than 12%. Hundreds of nurses are now headed to the Bay Area to help local hospitals deal with the rise in COVID-19 cases. Local hospitals have requested 1,100 travel nurses. Governor Ron DeSantis says about half of those requests have been filled. Pinellas County hospitals requested the second most nurses of anywhere in the state. And tomorrow is opening day at the TROP. The Rays take on the Toronto Blue Jays at 640 on Friday night. Of course, fans won't be allowed to attend, but many people are just happy Baseball is back, including our own Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Dennis. Hey, doing everybody? Skies remain mostly cloudy across the area. We definitely have scattered showers and storms winding down after a very active day. Close to three inches of rain fell along our coastal areas of Manatee County and into Sarasota County. Overnight skies clear. Friday and Saturday were back to normal, meaning more sunshine, late day, early evening storms in the forecast. Some could be locally heavy, as they always are in the summertime, so we're back to where we should be. The tropics are really starting to pick up from Gonzalo to what will likely end up being Tropical Storm Hannah in the Gulf of Mexico. This one, Gonzalo, expected to fizzle down the road probably days four or five, although tr Tropical Depression number eight will become Hannah, and when it does, it will move inland as a significant rainmaker for Texas. Maybe winds of about 50 to 60 miles an hour. Don't think it'll be a big headache for winds. I do think it's going to be a serious flood issue for part of that area. Overnight skies clear out and Florida's most accurate seven day forecast gives rain chances. Coverage at 50% on Friday, a little lower into the weekend. It's back to normal before next week the winds come around and we have an onshore flow, meaning a better chance of morning showers along the coast.